welcome back to another video and welcome if you're new if you're new my name's jasmine and i have a three-year-old a little girl vea and also a little pup a little weenie dog her name is Belle. um i'm a full-time lpn and i love posting videos in my free time of getting my house put together it helps motivate me and i hope it helps motivate you guys as well so today i'm bringing you guys a sunday reset this is my first ever Sunday reset, so I hope you guys enjoy. If you do, go ahead and hit that like button, and I hope to see you guys on my channel. So if you guys are interested, hit that subscribe as well. big things with cleaning is always starting off with a load of laundry so um, because it was Sunday I did go ahead and bring my clothes basket to the kitchen I separated all of the clothes I don't have a particular way of separating them I really just do lights darks and then I'll do like towels and sheets and pillowcases um, and then I also sprayed my basket down with some disinfectant just because dirty clothes sit in there all day and I did leave my clothes in the floor. I don't know. It's just something about like having them there in front of me helps push me, helps motivate me to continue to get that laundry switched out, get that laundry folded and get that laundry put away. So also after I got that done, I did go ahead and start dinner on this night. We were having tacos. So instead of taco Tuesday, it was taco Sunday. Um, and while the hamburger fried up, I did go ahead and get that dishwasher loaded.
never feel the way I feel You don't know if my love is real Baby, listen to me, here's the deal When you're not here, I'm not the same I'm needing a new chapter, babe Been stuck here in a bed for days I've been staring at the telephone Cause when you're gone, I miss your face Makes it better mm-hmm. Wreck and fall, tear apart Issues left behind, restart Nothing you say makes it better So after I finished the dishes, we did have dinner and I did go back and clean the dinner dishes too, but I just didn't show that here. Um, I did let them dry in the sink so you guys will see me putting those away. Um, and that's where those dishes came from as well. And then um, over the weekend, I went to Target and you guys know how the Target dollar spot is. There's always something there that you can get. Like it doesn't matter what it is. It can be, you know, $1, $3 or $5, but you always end up with something like I don't know why it's, or maybe it's just me but I always end up with something out of the dollar spot and um this previous Saturday I had found these two little um shelves they were five dollars for two of them and I love the idea of putting plants on them so one of them I did go ahead and put one of my potho plants on but the second one I didn't have a small enough plant to put on it so I just put my wax warmer on there and I kind of like the way that looks so I'm not sure if I'll end up changing it out or um what but you guys will see here in a few minutes what it what I ended up settling with and I really like the way it turned out I just love the little green ring on the piece of wood <laughs> Life goes up and it goes down I know my mom taught me that I figured why we fool around So little And we keep track of time Being so serious Idiots Thinking it will matter Keep me company downtown Before the clock runs out Sun is shining but the rain is welcome too Friends are nearby, don't need another view Time is not on my mind but then it's you Oh, I love it when the love comes around And then I remember All things must pass But I'm not gonna wake up, wake up I'm not ready, let me have another day Don't wake up, wake up Steady cause I'm happy I'm not gonna wake up No, no, not yet to let me know down below what is your favorite thing to watch during a cleaning video one of my favorite things is to just the laundry part so like if i see them put in a load i want to see them put the load in the dryer take it out and like continuous like showing the um the laundry going in and out or whatever that's one of my favorite things i don't know why but I'm like obsessed with laundry and like laundry detergents and laundry videos. And that's one of my biggest motivations is just watching a good laundry video. I don't know what it is about it, but it's just so satisfying. And then I also get new tips on um, different laundry detergents and things like that that I can try. And one thing that I did recently try was the Intense um, Downy Fabric Softener. 
that one it smells really good but i think that i'm having like some kind of reaction to it it's not like a terrible reaction um but i mix it with the um the non-allergenic tide pods or non whatever they are and um so i don't think it's the tide pods that's like giving me a reaction but i think the um downy softener is somewhat and it's not like a huge reaction i just noticed myself like scratching my scratching at my legs often and that was one of my first symptoms um when i became allergic to gain um laundry detergent so i can't use gain anymore and so i figured once um i was done with this huge gallon that i have over here that i would just move on and try different something else different um but i also picked up the downy um the little uh scents the scent uh, scent boosters that was in the smell lavender and it was a light it was considered a light smell i guess you could say and then it was supposed to be the hypo um allergenic or genic whatever <laughs> too and um i really like that one that honestly is my new fave and um i think i'm gonna end up just using that for a while and and just trying it out for a little bit and see how it goes and see if there's any reaction but the intense um downy fabric softener is amazing it smells so good like obviously the tie pods that i was using have no scent to them so um using that softener helped give it a scent but like i said i think i just had some kind of reaction to it so i don't know um, if i'll be buying it again but it's definitely worth a try because it smells so good dinner i did go ahead and wipe down the countertops and finish those last couple of dishes i also did some more laundry and fed the dog um after this i did have a little bit of a sit down time and then i gave Vea a bath 
um, I let her sit in the bath while I folded some clothes and the way my house is set up my bedroom is literally right across from the bathroom the hallway bathroom and so I could see her hear her whatever I needed um, she could hear and see me as well so that was nice to be able to do two things at once and she loves playing in the water she never wants to get out she's like a little fish it's so cute but um, so after I um, tidied up a little bit around um, the house I did go ahead and get her in the bath um, before we started our nightly routine Sunday I have to pick out all five of Aya's outfits for the week. It just makes it easier for me and that way she knows um, that where her outfits are. I'll send them out on the dresser and she will usually pick out which one she wants to wear. I don't have them in any particular order unless it's like a holiday like we have Valentine's Day coming up and she does have a Valentine's Day outfit and we're saving it for Monday on Valentine's Day but um that is one thing that i like to do and it kind of makes her feel like a big girl a little bit because she can pick out which one she wants to wear that day but she knows it has to be one of the five that are sitting out on the dresser and she's also getting to the point now where she can kind of dress herself for the most part as long as she's not too grouchy or too fussy so a lot of the clothes i try to make sure um, won't be too hard to get on for her to be able to do it by herself and if they are too hard that she gets frustrated and she's like no I don't want to wear that um, so then we end up having to find something else and it, it just becomes very stressful especially early in the mornings when you know we're trying to hurry up and get ready and rush out the door so I try to save the difficult outfits for the weekends
Dr. Bay's bath, I let her um, play on the tablet while I did her hair. She had a lot of time, tablet time on this day, but to be honest, you guys, it's the only way I was going to be able to get a video done is if I gave her the tablet. And it's just something like that I like to do. It's one of my hobbies. It's just to make a video and to have my time to sit down and edit it. Um, but she only really plays on it in the evenings. Usually, you know, she's at daycare all day. And then when we get home, we go outside for a few minutes and we take the dog out and she really loves riding her scooter she calls it her bike but she really loves riding her scooter around while we take the dog out and we'll even take some trash out and then typically i'll come in and then i'll take my shower and then get dinner going and we just kind of hang out until it gets close to bedtime and then i give her the tablet again because it's just you know you're you need your peace too and that's one that's one thing that she really likes that gives me my peace but um i made her put it down so i could get some lovings from her before um she had to go to bed <laughs> Belle definitely wanted to make herself known here so she was all up in the camera for a few seconds but I thought it was cute so I left it in here um, but right after this I did let Vea play on the tablet for a few minutes until I got out of the shower and then once I got out of the shower um, the plan was to take it away but she had already fallen asleep during that time and my showers aren't typically that long I would say between 15 to probably around 15 minutes so by the time i got out she was knocked out um but that is it for this video you guys i hope y'all enjoyed um i'm gonna be posting at least once a week from now on i've made myself a promise to do once a week from now on so like i said earlier you guys if y'all are interested go ahead and hit that subscribe button and i hope to see you guys in the next video